this week, I had an idea. You know those peanut butter blossom cookies that you make usually around Christmas time that have, they're made of peanut butter cookies and then when they come out of the oven, you put a Hershey Kiss on top. Well, I had an idea. What if you used a different type of cookie and a different type of like candy on top to make it fall flavor? So I'm going to make snickerdoodle cookies and then put a Hershey Kiss on top. I have heard that they make pumpkin spice kisses that are supposed to be at Target, maybe, but I went there and they didn't have any. So what they did have were these vampire kisses that are regular Hershey kisses with strawberry filling on the inside. Get it, they're vampires, the strawberry's blood, ha. Huh. So I'm gonna use these with the snickerdoodle. I think the strawberry, Strawberry and snickerdoodle, chocolate and snickerdoodle, like that all goes together in my head. I haven't made this before, so we'll just see how it turns out. If anything, I will get my craving for snickerdoodles sated. So it's fine by me. Let's go. I'm going to start with making the snickerdoodle cookies and I'm going to use my tried and true recipe, which I'll include in the description for you guys. As most cookie recipes start, we're going to beat the sugar and the fat in a stand mixer. One and a half cups of white sugar and a half cup of softened butter and a half cup of shortening. Using shortening as half of the fat in this recipe will result in a softer cookie. If you're interested in learning more about the types of fat to use in cookies and the different results that they give, I'll link the cookie basics video I did on fat in the description. At this point, I'm also gonna add two eggs and mix until well blended. Then stir in two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons cream of tartar, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Allow that to mix until well combined and a soft dough forms. I'm also going to prepare the cinnamon sugar mixture that we're going to be rolling the cookies in before they go in the oven. I'm using a half of a quarter cup of white sugar and half of a quarter cup of brown sugar with one tablespoon, well, <laughs> a little more than one tablespoon of cinnamon. Typically recipes for snickerdoodles will say to just coat it in white sugar, but I like using half white sugar and half brown sugar because the brown sugar gives a deep, deeper maple-y flavor. Sugar on the outside of these cookies is going to help brown them and give them a little bit of crunchy texture when once they're baked. The next step is to shape the cookies into about one and a quarter inch balls and roll them in our mixture of cinnamon sugar. We're going to bake them at 400 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. You'll know they're done because you should be able to smell the cinnamon and the caramel smell from the sugar. If you're like me and only want to bake a half or a quarter batch of dough at a time, you can freeze the rest of the dough for two to three months. I like to save it in quart containers and seal the top with plastic wrap to avoid any ice crystals forming. Using a dry erase marker, I write the type of cookie, the date the dough was made, and baking instructions for a future Michelle so she doesn't have to look it up again. Isn't that nice? If we were making regular snickerdoodle cookies, we'd be all done at this point but we're making them into vampire blossoms. So when the cookies are still soft from just coming out of the oven, we're going to immediately press a vampire kiss onto the top. <laughs> the hardest part is allowing them to cool all the way afterwards. <laughs> Well, they came out looking super nice. Let's try. Chocolate is super melty from the heat of the cookie, which is why you don't put the chocolates in the oven with the cookies when they're baking, because it will just melt into a mess. Oh, I love snickerdoodle cookies. They're just so good. Let's try the uh, chocolatey vampire part. Um, yes! Oh, this is good. It's cinnamon sugar, chocolate, and strawberry. Like, you can't go wrong. All right, well, 
There you go. Twist on the peanut blossom mixed with a snickerdoodle and morphed into a Halloween maybe type flavor profile. If you like this video or you learned something, give it a like. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.